Hey, I'm Kelsey, creator of the InDesign Field Guide, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick one-click way to create a new character or paragraph style in Adobe InDesign. Let's go! First up, do you know what character and paragraph styles are? They're the best! Styles are a preset group of text formatting that can be applied to a word, a line of text, or an entire paragraph in one click. Over here in the character flyout menu, if you're not seeing that, you can go to window, type in tables, toggle on character right here. Basically, what a character style does is it takes all the settings you would create in this window, plus a few other extras, and rather than trying to recreate that every time you want to repeat that style, you just save it all under character styles. If you're not seeing that window, you can go to window, styles, character styles. It saves them all here for you in a nice little list. You can have as many as you want. Whenever you want to reuse that style, you just click once and it will apply it to your text. If you're not already, you should totally be using styles for everything. It saves so much time. You apply them with one click and you will fly through your text formatting, I promise. Now there's also a thing called paragraph styles and they're pretty much the same thing. It's just that character styles can be applied to a single letter or word or line of text, while paragraph styles will apply to, you guessed it, an entire paragraph. So because of that, paragraph styles also have just a few more options and features in here like hyphenation, justification, indents, tabs, things like that. Now the most common way that people learn how to create a new style is to click this little plus sign in the bottom right corner of either of the styles menu, the paragraph styles or the character styles, and that adds a new one to your list and you would double click that and then you would make your changes here in this window, choosing your font, your sizing, your spacing, your color, things like that. But I have a much faster way that kind of works backwards. What I like to do instead is actually first style my text how I want it directly in my document. And that gives me the freedom to experiment and tweak and play until I'm happy with the text styling. So I'm going to go back to my regular character flyout menu. Again, this is under window, type in tables, character. I'm going to change the font to Brandon Grotesque, one of my faves. We're going to change the sizing to pretty big, 48. We don't need any tracking. We're going to decrease the letting, which is the space between lines, to about there. I'm going to go to my paragraph window. I don't want anything to be hyphenated and I'm going to center all of this text. And lastly, just for funsies, I'm going to make it this fun little orange color. So once I'm happy with my text styling, I can just create a style directly from this by highlighting any of this text that I just formatted. Go to my character styles flyout menu and with the text highlighted, I'm gonna click the plus sign. And what that's gonna do is basically pull all the formatting from whatever I have highlighted and just create a style for me. So here's my Brandon Grotesque, medium, 48, 50, no tracking, fun orange color. We'll name this my new favorite style. So now that we've got that style added to our list, we can select some other text down here, click our style once, and it automatically applies all the same formatting. See how styles can help you fly through your formatting and ensure consistency? It's a total breeze and you gotta use them. So that's kind of my fun backwards way to quickly create a new style with just one click. If you want more Adobe InDesign training, watch my free workshop where I break down the most popular design apps and programs and show you when it's best to use each one. Psst, you can do way more with InDesign than you probably realize. Plus, I'll walk through exactly how to design a PDF worksheet and promo graphic from start to finish using only InDesign. Click that first link in the description below to watch the free workshop right now. Go ahead, click it. You know you want to.